Hello, Minecrafters. Welcome to another episode about Minecraft. And I have with me here a guest today. Hopefully his audio will show up. Kyle, say something. Hello. There's Kyle. His Minecraft name is Aurea. Something I can't pronounce, so I'll just say Aurea. I guess that's the right way to do it. Um, I'm going to give you... That works. All right. I'm going to give you guys a tour of everything we've built so far, like this pretty cool castle here. Start at the ground floor. Uh, all the way around the ground floor of our castle, like we take defense very seriously. We have a huge defense grid of all these dispensers where if creepers or zombies, you know, step on the pressure plates, they get shot in the face or rather probably in the penis. Um, yeah, so don't step on those. What, this is the creepers are giant penis? <laughs> yeah, go figure. Um, this is the ground floor where we have all of our beds. That's his bed. This is mine. This is somebody who I just got into Minecraft's bed. And there's Eric's bed. And here's a bunch of our wolves. This is my wolf. I still haven't named him yet. Ah, why'd you just leap through the ceiling? That's pretty weird. Okay. So, should I go upstairs or downstairs, Kyle? What do you think? You can do up first. All right. No, do down. Okay. Down, down first. So do what you did with uh, the other person. Okay. So now we're in our basement slash, well, I don't know if it's even going to be a physics lab. I don't know if we have an, even enough space, but it's here, and it's nice and bright. The world's most painful trash can, my uh, copyright. I have our nether portal down here, which I'll probably deactivate because it makes so many annoying noises. You can de deactivate portals by splashing water on them, if you didn't know that. This is our epic train uh, rail system, whatever. So I'm going to set the time to daytime so that you'll be able to see everything because I know my fraps it likes to uh, kill the lighting. And so off we go. Now the first part is a bunch of just catacombs we went to build out to the surface. And voila, it is daytime. And that, oh my god, I'll, I'll show you what that is in a second. Uh, I get some weird lags on this server, so you're going to see me jumping around a lot on the cart. Um, here we go to our first stop. I can get out of this minecart. Bueno. All right. This is TNT Mountain, which Kyle and I blew the crap out of using a crap load of TNT. And it resulted in this really pretty Niagara Falls-like waterfall. And uh, we get a lot of floating squids a lot of the time. Also, this lava pit. I think we filled that in a bit, right? Didn't we? we uh, I think some? so. Yeah, all right. And that just happens to be the sacrificial pit to Notch, because right here we have an altar to Notch. Uh, pray to Notch, receive blessing. So you can just uh, stand on the edge here. If you have too many items, you just sacrifice yourself by throwing thyself into the holy pit of lava, and uh, Notch will receive it, and he, w he will bless you. So onward. We carved an entire route through TNT Mountain that goes out on the other side. So now we have kind of just like this giant Alaskan bullworm tunnel going up to the surface. And all right, here we are. This is our camping spot we did while we were building this huge um, railroad. Because, yeah, there were a lot of creepers and zombies back then, but now we have them disabled. We'll probably put them on again sometime. Here's a secret door I put to show off some piston stuff that I made, whatever. Um, there's another TNT spot. Kyle and I love our TNT. We love blowing up things and making animals suffer. <laughs> I just saw a chicken spawn in front of my face. That's pretty scary. Kill it with fire! Okay. This is, I actually neglected to tell you what that um, little room was on my uh, physics lab on my assassin world. It's actually a torture chamber. If you are dumb enough to go in through the iron door, somebody back here hits a lever and you get burned with lava. So watch out for signs on little tiny houses telling you to go in them. This is a ticket office. Hello, how do you do? Do you want some tickets for this boat? This is the most amazing boat in the entirety of Minecraft. I don't care what you say. It is. It is Notch's flagship. It is called the SS Stumpy. Because it is very small. and uh, But very awesome because it has these two super powerful cannons. 
which uh, fire arrows and whatever else you might want to fire out. They only go about three feet in front of the ship, but, well, that's life. I don't know how to make more powerful dispensers. All right. Got to get back to the track, and we'll show you some more. It's quite a long ways away. Look at that floating island with floating sand. I wonder how floating sand stays floating. Ah. Magic. So Magic. Good. Totally. Okay. I still have to upgrade these mine, some of these minecart stops. But anyway, moving along. Good thing I catch it. I usually miss it because of the lag on the server, but looks like I'm good for now. Okay. Here's our path up TNT Mountain, where we encounter two other little uh, features of this server. And that is, we have a thrill ride, suicide jump, five gold, give it your best shot, hope you live. If you do, we'll, I don't know, kill you to keep our ratings. Anyway, here's the flower of Notch. You do not punch this flower, or Notch will smite thee. And if you're going to come on the server just to do that, I, I swear, I don't even know. You don't even know the amount of rage I'm going to dump on your face. As nasty as that and sounded. Fire. And fire. Rage and fire. Great tasty combo. Now, to our final stop. We go along the skyline, which the lag is going crazy about. So many clouds, so many clouds. What's up with all the Has clouds? Has the lag always been like that? Or? Eh, it's, it's not too bad. It's only on mine ra uh, only on mine cart rails, really. It just makes you spaz all over the place. But, uh, yay, yeah, and now we are back home. Uh, yeah, just like that. Grr. I don't want to break the glass. There we go. Okay, I got it. Oh, wait, that wasn't good glass. That was iron. Anyway, we are now on the top of our... Oh, crap. We have void. We have a lot of void. That's not good. Um, but there's a way to That's remedy this. Good. Okay, so... Oh, I think the void is starting to fill in slowly. Slowly, very slowly, maybe. Anyway, we are now at the top of the tower where you can get a very good view of the surrounding area. I have to walk up on here, but usually there's a nice glass tunnel, kind of like my spaceship jetway, connecting the two towers. Um, from here you can hear, see the surrounding desert and savanna or whatever biome we're in, I don't know. It rains, it rains and... No, wait. Yeah. Part of our house is in the desert, which means it doesn't um, doesn't rain there. So it's kind of funny to see half of your house get rained on and the other half not get rained on. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway, this is yeah, this is the interior of our tower. Um, around the midsection of each tower and surrounding our main house section, we have defensive archery positions. From here, we have places where archers can stand on pressure plates and fire some kind of, you know, flat range, um, whatever direction arrows and also stand up here and shoot things themselves like little turrets. So we have double the firepower everywhere. Don't think we'll ever get enough people on the server to use all of them, but they're there in case of a massive creeper onslaught. Damn this void. Oh, well, not that important. Because the creeper Armageddon will happen. Yes. Absolutely. It is written in the Book of Notch, one of the 666 copies. Damn it, the Void took out our entire library almost. Oh well. Well, what this would be... In fact, you know what? I'm going to, at the risk of really horrible lag weirdness, I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. And hope that the Void goes away. Yes, it did. Okay, awesome. It usually does. Th yep. This is our library. And uh, as you notice, it's not so much focused around bookcases as it is cake. This is a tradition we started in this server where uh, I forget what we were trying to spawn, um, but we came up with oh, well, instead of cake. <laughs> whatever it was, instead of 64, whatever it was, we came up with 64 cakes and we just laid them all out on the floor and we went back there to eat them anytime we got we took damage. So, uh, yeah, now we upgraded it to a table full of cake. This is our conference table where you just eat cake and speak and eat cake and ca cake, like 
so many cakes everywhere. These are our library sections, cookbooks and stuff, porn. Everybody needs a porn section. Miscellaneous section, our smallest section, so I'm not even sure why we have it. Fiction, grr, stupid stairs. Sci-fi, bestiaries, and the Bibles of Notch. All 666 books. I wonder how many people are going to see the bestiary sign and think it's a bestiality. <laughs> well, one person for sure. And you know who I'm talking about. Now, uh, we're back on the ground floor, so let me show you the bakery. Or the bakery in progress. Right now, it's just a gigantic brick thing that's sitting here with doors. And Kyle is over there working on our checkered wool uh, flooring. As creepy as it looks, I think I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It looks pretty nice. It's got kind of a 50s feel, sort of. I don't know. <laughs> and here we have our office building, which it, I know it looks really weird and irregular, but that is because um, we basi what we basically did was there was a big fat hill here, and we hollowed it out, and we replaced the shell with entirely for brick, whatever, brick by brick by brick. So yeah, now it looks like a gigantic tumor, but it's a really awesome gigantic tumor. This is the storage section where we keep the orphans, I mean, ingredients that we cook into our cakes. And uh, wait, it's empty. They must have escaped. I, I, I mean, uh, all, been, all been used for our delicious cakes. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> not orphans at all, not totally orphans that I beat every single day. Um, who says those things? Who says those things? <laughs> and uh, those will be our water elevators, which, while they are quite annoying to go up and down, I'm not sure. I mean, a ladder seems, ladders seem a bit, I don't know, not as aesthetically awesome. So, uh, is that it? Have I covered everything? This is the bakery. Well, there's the nether, but there's nothing really in the nether except an unfinished Nothing's project. Nothing in the nether. Not yet, except our new employee is uh, planning something in there. The uh, A Dodongo skull, like in the Dodongo caverns. and I'll do a video on that if that ever gets finished. But uh, as for right now, this is it. Our maximum height, almost not really completed bakery. And uh, Thank you for watching. Subscribe and goodbye.